Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reapy Ron. Today we are going to be playing a little bit of a different loadout. Today we are going to be trying to combine the HRG version of a weapon with the standard version of a weapon. So for this I'm going to be playing 7 rounds Hell on Earth the with the demo. The and Lock we are going to be going with the Kaboom Stick and the Boom Stick. A support and a demo weapon respectively. Walking, money, now this loadout would work out quite well on Survivalist. I've actually used it quite a few times on Survivalist and really had no issues with it except for um, range. But it is extremely powerful. Both these weapons are really strong. And I didn't really want to put this with Survivalist because Survivalist is kind of naturally good with most weapons. Um, and I'd like to kind of do a series of this, trying out the HRG version of a weapon with the base gone. version of a weapon. Um, you know, what it started as. And see if they can kind of work together without you Time playing play. Survivalist. Um, so I figured this would be a good one to start with. Both these weapons are very strong. They're both pretty much top tier weapons. Um, the double barrel is fantastic early on. The kaboom stick is fantastic all the way through the game. But Boomstick actually is too, but we're going to be trying to do this. So first up, we got our grenade pistol, and we're just going to try to run through it because we don't plan on using it past wave one. It's a great wave one gun, but we're going to use it up. <laughs> it's actually a pretty great weapon to throw upgrades into as well. We'll see this weapon again uh, when we pair it with the HRG Scorcher, which that's going to be a strange combination, I would say. Um, I did try these out on stream. Uh, for anybody wondering, I do stream five days a week. I stream every day except for Monday and Thursday at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, going up to about 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're ever wondering and want to see me stream some stuff, uh, show up then. We also usually do... Um, open lobbies for anybody Hi. wanting to join, at least for any of these multiplayer games like big, Killing big, Floor, big. Payday, um, Dead by Daylight, anything like that. So let's go over here. We can buy our boomstick now, which is honestly not a bad option for demo. I used to buy it pretty often uh, because it paired well with the RPG sense, but previously demo didn't have the kaboomstick, so the double barrel actually wasn't a bad choice to go you with. You know, now it would probably make more sense to save up for the Kaboom Stick. Either buy ammo for my uh, grenade pistol or buy like a, like the grenade launcher to get me up to there. But for right now, I'm going to be running this. And currently, none of my perks give me any bonus for this. I don't think any of these perks will give me any bonus for any of these. Because this does not count as a demo All weapon or an explosive weapon. This is just a pretty strong early game weapon. The double barrel is probably one of the strongest early weapons in the game. Going down. So we're just going to shoot this. Unfortunately, we don't have any bonus reload speed. That's okay, though. The double barrel reloads fast enough. And it does a lot of damage at very close range. Being able to absolutely rip apart just about anything in these early waves. Walking, shambling money incoming. Alright, you do get bonus mobility with this though too, regardless of which class you're using it with, because you can jump in the air and fire Double. both barrels out to get you that extra boost of speed, give you a little bit more distance. So I'm going to try to loop around and not get shot too much by robots. Love my guns. Kill any sort of stalker or little thing that's coming our way. We do have dynamite, which is very powerful, but it does take a long time for it to go off. Unless, of course, we hit something directly with it, and then it's not so bad. Double barrel is also pretty nice because you don't need to aim for any sort of uh, headshots. Of course, hitting headshots is nice because they send things flying, but they're not entirely necessary. The um, Firing both barrels also has a really high chance to stumble things. So it's not a bad idea to do that if you need a little bit more space. And we were also pretty lucky in getting armor down there too. Alright. Oh, if I didn't say I'm playing uh, Seven Waves Hell on Earth. 
I might not have said that at the start. That's the difficulty you're playing on. To not just say, well, you can use this difficult, you can use this on, you know, like hard or something. You certainly could if you want to. Uh, it might, it'd be much easier. But I want to see how they work on, like, the hardest difficulty. Now, I don't have enough for the Kaboom Stick unless I wanted to sell this, which would honestly be the smart idea, and I think that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll buy back the Boom Stick later. This isn't a bad idea to grab a strong weapon early on with really any class, um, if you're confident that you can use it and sell it over to the next wave to get something better. Uh, especially if you didn't buy ammo for it. So now we are pretty much in our element having this gun. This will give us a big advantage. Now we don't run any, well at least I don't run any sort of reload speed with the Kaboom Stick. This is just an all damage Kaboom Stick. But the good thing about the Kaboom Stick is that you cannot hurt yourself with it as demo. It's not the best against bloats though. They can actually absorb a good amount of the damage. And with the slowdown, we actually do have a decent weapon for killing Scrakes. Um, if you take this on support, then you actually have a better way of killing uh, Flesh Pounds. Support can kill Flesh Pounds with their own weapons and with the double barrel, though. Um, it's not like that's super difficult to do. But with demo, you can sometimes struggle with Scrakes. Scrakes are generally resistant to explosives, and most of your weapons aren't incredibly great at killing them. They're, I'm not going to say that they're bad, though. They're actually quite good that you can still do it pretty easily. This place actually has a lot of really nice loops to run around. Spillway is one of the better maps for just beating on Hell on Earth. Which is also partially why I chose it for this challenge. Or loadout, I guess. It's not really meant to be a challenge. Because I'm fairly certain that you can beat hell on earth with these weapons with probably any class i'm not gonna try to take these you know completely off perk though or it's like oh how good is this with like swat or something it's like well it's probably okay but why would you ever do that all right i am going to um fill this gun buy the double barrel back and then buy as much stuff as I can. Now I've got my full loadout. Wonder what this uh, with still a good does. amount of ammo. Nothing good, I bet. With this, I'm generally going to be using the Kaboom Stick more often, um, at least for anything that's large and any sort of crowds, simply because it's better at fighting them. Um, for any sort of extra stuff, though, like crawlers or stray zeds or whatever it might be, then I'll use the Kaboom or the uh, double barrel. I mean, they're both double barrels, but you know what I mean. <laughs> It gets kind of confusing saying Boomstick and Kaboomstick. So I'll call this one the Double Barrel and this one the Kaboomstick. So this Double Barrel is actually probably pretty good to use at the very start of a match. Just to clear up any sort of small enemies. And it's really honestly good at fighting everything. So I want to save ammo with both of these though. I don't want to run them completely out. Simply because... They both serve kind of a purpose. And I honestly think this might be a better loadout with demo than it is with support. With support, you already have really good weapons. Um, you could of course take this if you want because it does only weigh 11 and you could still take, you know, like an M4 or whatever other shotgun you wanted. This. Uh, also a demo, you do have this uh, Sonic rounds, so you're immune to Sirens attacks breaking up your Kaboom Stick, whereas support you're not. That is kind of a problem with uh, Survivalist as well. Like I'm on fire. Right, making sure to keep an eye on my ammo. I'll show you how it's, done. it's probably best to only do that during nice. like said time if you're not comfortable looking down there. Easy as pie. And we can just run around with the boomstick, really, because even if there's bad stuff that's coming for us and we need a little bit of distance, we can do that. I would much rather empty out this gun and not have any ammo with it than running out my kaboomstick. 
because that one's a little bit more damaging, a little bit more useful. Both these weapons are actually really high damage. The base Kaboom Stick has something like 530 damage if you hit with every pellet from one barrel. And the uh, double barrel has 250 damage if you hit with every pellet from one barrel. Which is pretty easy to do if you're willing to get close with either of these. Alright. Let's go buy some more ammo and then let's go with upgrades. I would recommend upgrading the Kaboom Stick over the Double Barrel simply because it's an on-perk weapon for demo and you'll get the more damage out of it. Both these weapons don't need upgrades, but they do scale incredibly well with upgrades. It's just they already have really high base damage. So increasing their damage a little bit is very nice, but it's not entirely necessary. Ooh, we found some more ammo too. Let's grab that. All right, we're just gonna clear up these little crawlers running around. Sorry, I forgot to be talking. Um, nothing real interesting has came out. Um, we do have some scrakes coming up, so that should be yeah, kind of interesting, I guess. We'll see how it goes. Husks are a little bit of an issue with this loadout. They don't die particularly easy from either of these, just because they do. This, these weapons do have a pretty good spread, and you don't really want to be too close to them. One, I guess, potential upside to using the double barrel on demo is that you don't have the bonus penetration. That's also potentially a downside, because bonus penetration is pretty nice whenever there's a group of enemies, and you just want to hit all of them. But sometimes there's situations where there's like a Scrake or a Flesh Pound mixed in the middle and you don't want to get them angry. Clear out the Sirens a little bit and then clear out the Husks a little bit and then do a test on the Scrakes. I mean, I guess we could do the test right now. All right. So we're going to see how much... Okay, two bursts from the Kaboom Stick. I have a feeling it will be actually pretty similar with the regular double barrel. Oh, I think I just chainsaw. Hmm. Alright, it will take you more shots with the double barrel to kill a Scrake than it will with the Kaboom Stick. I guess that makes sense. I am running more damage on this. It would probably be the opposite way on support. Um, just because you would have the <laughs> perk weapon advantage. But either way, you do have weapons that are capable of killing pretty much everything. And I don't think either of these are, like, really bad together. I'm gonna upgrade my Kaboom Stick once. I can't upgrade my Double Barrel just yet. We're gonna try to upgrade both of them. I think I can upgrade both of them fully and still be at an okay weight. The more I use this, the more I kind of like its combination. <laughs> these are my kind of weapons. And kind of fit my type of play style. At least for demo. I, I imagine they would work alright too with support. Nice. But having something big and heavy to hit enemies with is kind of nice, and then having another, you know, by no means slouchy weapon. But having a pretty good general purpose weapon is kind of nice. The only thing this loadout is lacking is range. Um, you could compensate that with another weapon. Um, <laughs> first weapon that immediately comes to my mind is a 500 Magnum, but that would be pretty strange um, to pair with this and you're not playing Survivalist. With Survivalist, I think it would be great. Um, in fact, with Survivalist, you could have Weapon Harness and pair it with something like a Centerfire and still be going with all perks that get the bonus reload speed. Would be kind of strange a demo. Although, funny enough, I actually did take the uh, 500 Magnums a lot with demo previously before the Kaboom Stick was added as well. Because they were just like one of the best things you could pair with just about anything. They were one of the best off perk weapons, and they still kind of are. It's also pretty nice that you get a guaranteed kill on Husks, too. I I think you could do this even on six mana on Earth. Like just use the um, 
Secondary fire on the Kaboom stick and you'd be guaranteed a kill on them, at least at close range. Nice. Oh yeah, Double Barrel does do bonus damage towards uh, Sirens, so that's kind of nice. It does 1% extra damage. I think it's a reference to Evil Dead, but I'm not sure. This is actually pretty nice if Flesh Pounds start coming like this. Because I've been saving my ammo with the Kaboom stick, so... I don't really have to worry about running low on shots with it because, well, I've been purposely using the double barrel just in case this happens. And it works too if there's raging scrakes. Really, that would work, I think, with either of them. But overall, I think I'm actually liking the slowdown. When I first started playing it, it was a bit weird, I'm going to be honest. It was a bit strange. Yeah. Ooh, stay back. <laughs> hey, more ammo. Oh, make these last purchases count. All right, now we just have boss wave, and I'm honestly not sure how well this is gonna actually work against Taking boss wave. Because the kaboom stick works pretty well against most bosses. The here. double barrel works Careful. okay against most bosses. It honestly isn't the best because of its limited range. We'll throw the extra upgrades into our pistol. And we're going to give this a shot. I think on certain bosses like the King Flesh Pound or the Abomination, this should work fine. Time on Hans, up. it should also work fine. Matriarch and Patriarch is where I'm iffy. Oh, Hans. All right. What have we here? Because we for anybody that's not aware, you can't actually use the double barrel jump like on pain. Hans to get out of the range of his stab. Sometimes it doesn't work. Like if he technically hits see. you and you go flying I'll backwards, it'll just yank you back towards him. Eat. Um, but if you can just keep getting close to him, you can rip apart his shields pretty fast with the boomstick. Something like that. <laughs> this is actually really good once he gets it to his enraged state and starts really running at us because we actually have potentially two escapes then. This might have actually Such been the best boss to get with this loadout. You. Don't hide. Um, again, on, like, on multiplayer, it would depend. Because Hans can be you. really iffy in multiplayer. Hello, big boy. Alright. I've stomped him. The great thing about Demo is that we have a ton of damage if he gets close to us. Uh, with support, we'd also have pretty good damage. I don't think this loadout, once again, would be as good with support against Hans. But I think it'd still be okay. We kind of got to get rid of the robots when he grab us. Oops. Missed that. Alright. Because we can potentially do that. <laughs> Which that is pretty good that we can... We get essentially two bunny hops away from Hans. He can't catch us then, I don't think. So long as we're able to constantly be reloading against him. Alright. Well, this worked out perfectly fine. <laughs> Um, I think it would also work out just fine with support as well. I believe that's actually what I was using when I live streamed this and didn't have too many issues. The Kaboom Stick is crazy powerful. It's crazy powerful on demo. And as you could kind of see, I use that for the majority of this round. Um, but I did use the double barrel about half as much, even though that was generally for clearing small stuff and then saving the Kaboom Stick for big stuff. That would probably be how I would use this loadout in combination. It's kind of an odd one. Um... And it would be, and it would fit much better on survivalist. But I think it's okay on demo overall. If you really like the kaboom stick and you want even more double barrel, then try out the boom stick with it. Tell me what your results are. Um, for me, they seem to work just fine. I'll be doing other videos in this series, so if you guys would like to see certain ones sooner, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. I make sure to read through all of those and try to respond as best I can. 
Um, I think the next one I'm going to try is the Buckshots with the 500s and maybe try them on Gunslinger because I think that will be interesting too. So thanks everybody for coming out here and watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here and you haven't already, be sure that you're subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post any of these videos and any other videos up. And if you guys would like to support the channel further than that, you can by going over to my merch store and buying merch. You can also go over to the Patreon and pledge just a dollar a month and then you'll get access to early videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and... Bye.